Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Trucking with Bones and the Paperwork Princess, along with Harley and Doggo, where we talk about everything from car hauling to life on the road, from cranky brokers to entitled customers. Thank you for joining us on this journey we call life. All right, here we go. What up y'all? As you can see, we are in a loading lot. This particular one, Oh, check this out. They've already got the window rolled down and hanging their noses out. Bunch of knuckleheads. It's like having two kids. Anyway, so we're at Mannheim Riverside. Getting ready to get our load going over to Phoenix, which we'll be delivering over there this evening. And then uh, hopefully getting our Phoenix reload done and heading down towards uh, Tucson don't know that we'll make it to Tucson in time to get loaded Tonight, but we should be sitting there really close for our reload So anyway, let's go get some cars Well guys, we are hoofing it Apparently Mannheim does not offer weekend shuttle service and this place is huge which means we're getting our workout in first thing this morning. It's a long ways. Oh, we're just walking in the road. That's cool too. Whatever. That's 200. We're Place is large. Back. Well, we walked. I got in it because I wanted to start it, but the keys weren't there. Oh, a white GTR over there. <laughs> The keys weren't in it, so I couldn't start. We walked a half mile, literally, all the way back to the lot where our vehicles were supposed to be, and they're not there. Imagine that. I don't like this one. I like the black one. <laughs> so we called security, and they said, oh, your vehicle's all the way up here at the checkout gate. Now we got to walk a half mile back. <coughs> Lamborghini. I wonder. Hard seats, isn't it? Yeah, they've got the keys for these things. They don't want you starting them driving around the lot. That is an uncomfortable seat. They are very uncomfortable. Yeah, kind of oh, wish we were picking this up just because I'd like to drive one, but I don't want to haul one. Lamborghini, Lamborghini, Porsche. Racing. No idea. It's a racing Porsche. Oh, never mind. It's a racing GTR. Another Lambo, a racing GTR. How y'all like that? Another Porsche, another Porsche, Rolls Royce. <clears throat> Look at this, guys, just rows and rows of these things out here, all over the place. Well, guys, I am sitting inside of a Lamborghini, and I gotta tell you, it's like sitting in a lawn chair. Really, really uncomfortable. <clears throat> not all, not at all impressed, really. Hmm. I was hoping there was a price on it, but <clears throat> there's not. Oh well. All right, y'all. Check out this Rolls Royce. Hey, like that. That's the front of the car. <clears throat> Suicide doors. Oh yeah, that is more like comfort. This is the Wraith. <clears throat> Pretty nice. There's another one, Rolls Royce. 
<clears throat> Maserati. Alfa Romeo. Ferrari. Alrighty guys, we are loaded. And by loaded, I mean we are loaded. So I am um, a little concerned about our weight. We're gonna go find a cat scale before we cross the state scale and find out just how heavy we are. It's, it's a pretty good load right there. We're down at 14 feet and we're not over length. I'm just worried about our axle weight on the trailer. But it's all strapped down, in position, ready to go. Put my tie down bar up. Did have to chain that Jeep and that truck to get down from 14.4, but it was not a problem. Well, I am sitting up here. top the trailer we have picked up six and unloading six from uh, Riverside California to Phoenix Arizona one day 1200 bucks not great but not bad so uh, find reverse here waiting for paperwork princess to back that out of the way and uh, I think I forgot a strap. Go back there. And yep. <clears throat> I forgot one of her straps. I had two straps in the front, one strap on the back. But because we were over height, we were at 14 feet. I use two chains on the back of the truck to bring it down to legal height. Well, the problem was I got two chains off the back, two straps off the front, and forgot about the fifth securement device, which was the rear strap. So when she went to back off, it was still on there. Well, as y'all can see, that's an empty trailer. Now, we are turning these vehicles in. Over here to this lot. And then the paperwork princess will complete the paperwork while I do Final touch us on putting the trailer back together. Teamwork makes the day go a lot faster and smoother. <clears throat> 